Hi there, I'm Alex Polinski, the founder of Prepare to Serve, and I'm going to share some crazy, dangerous, funny, and spiritual experiences all from the California Riverside Mission. So I hope you enjoy. From Ashley, traveling to the Mexico City MTC, my flight from Denver to Dallas made me miss my connecting flight, so I had to do standby. And when I got to the Mexico airport, I couldn't find the guy from the MTC, and I was so scared. Andrew, I got hit by a truck. Most cars stopped for us, even when they had the right of way, so I expected him to stop, but he didn't see me. Lindsay, had someone try to break into our apartment while we were inside. Oh, that's crazy. Cody, riding a bike in Homeland and Romoland. Lots of dogs chase you. Ross, someone was shot outside our apartment during lunch in Hemet, California. Ryson, being chased by an angry mob that was against Proposition 8. That does not sound like fun. Nathan, bike wrecks mostly. I did get diagnosed with an autoimmune disease on the mission. That was pretty crazy. Lost about, lost a lot of my hair. Steven, pitbulls daily. People, drunks, crime are one thing. Pitbulls can't be reasoned with. Ashley, I was kissed by a two-year-old right before he squished and licked a cockroach. Andrew, oh, so many. I think my favorites were having mem dinners with some of the members. There were some funny people I got to meet. Lindsay, I was proposed to by a drunk guy that kept calling me Diana. Cody, goofing off with fellow missionaries in the apartments. Ross, I ate balut and horse. Not because I had to, but because it was available. Ryson, I was driving down from Canyon Lake of the Lake uh, Elisonor area on the dirt road when all of a sudden my front wheel slipped and I slid right into a rock, busting the radiator and immobilizing the car. Nathan, we would have team-ups with the youth and they would sometimes would say and do things that would make us question if they really knew what missionary work was all about. Stephen, language mishaps, like a new companion reading the story of the brother of Jared seeing the finger of the Lord and that he touched each one of the legs of the brothers of Jared. Piedras are stones. Piernas are, are legs. Oh, that's awkward. Ashley, in my first area, we taught a recent convert who was missing all his teeth, had one leg and spoke Spanish that I couldn't understand, but he was the most charitable living person I ever met. Andrew, my companion talked to this crazy guy in the street, and he turned out to be really interested, and he wound up getting baptized. This doesn't sound nearly as cool as it was. Lindsay, the people I helped enter the waters of baptism. Cody, knocking on the last door of a street, you just felt prompted to go down that day, and having them be ready to hear the gospel. Ross, being in the right place at the right time, helping a family who I had met in my first area one year later when the husband suffered a seizure while driving in Palm Springs. They lived, they lived in Helmet. Ryson, giving a blessing to a young man who had just been in a car accident, which happened to be on my first day in the mission field. Ryan, baptizing a family of five my last weekend in the mission. One of our recent converts who taught all the lessons with us baptized the father. Nathan, I loved when you could see the light in the investigator's eyes turn bright. It was amazing to see and feel the differences of visits as they progressed. Stephen, every day, that's a guarantee. In a short version, however, there was a woman who we were teaching, golden, person ready for the gospel, and we learned in the only lesson we taught her that her husband was abusive. That same day, she called us saying that she was leaving her husband and would call us later. Being two 19-year-olds, we were freaking out. But then she never called, and when, we, uh, and when we did, her phone was out of service. Never heard from her again until a year later in a different area. An investigator's brother brings his girlfriend, long connection. I was on exchanges, and my companion says this lady is perfect. So we go back, and she came to the lesson. It was the same woman from a year ago. She talked about how she knew what we were teaching was true, because she learned a year ago and always knew. Now I was transferred and she was supposedly taking lessons in her new city, but that didn't matter. The Lord made it clear that your contacts and lessons go further than you will ever see. That every conversation, lesson, and person is important because that interaction plays into God's plan for them. 
Well, that's awesome. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed some of these stories from the Riverside Mission. Um, if you served in a Riverside Mission and you're willing to share some experiences and insights, we'd love to have you contribute. Um, if you go to preparetoserve.com forward slash survey, there's a Google form there that's embedded that you can just fill out and submit and then it will get posted on our website. We'll go through, edit it and post it on the website. Um, also, if you're willing to be video interviewed about your mission, we'd love to video interview you for our YouTube channel. You could just message us on our website, preparetoserve.com or our YouTube channel or our Facebook page. If you have any insights about the Riverside Mission, feel free to comment below. Or if you have any questions about the Riverside Mission, feel free to comment below as, as well. And maybe a return missionary will answer your question. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.